First off, I want to thank New Rom at NewRom.com for this available tweak. Also, all the files to be able to do this can be found at XDADevelopers.com. There's a link on the right side of this video. So go ahead and click it if you really want this. This is only available for Sprint Touch Pro with stock ROM. A Sprint Touch Pro with stock ROM. Let me be specific. Sprint Touch Pro with stock ROM. Okay, so let's get to it. First, I'm going to show you how to overclock your CPU. Now, my CPU is at 768 MHz. Sprint Touch Pro comes manufactured with a 528 MHz CPU. Okay. Just to show you something. Let me show you the speed of this bad boy. Okay. Okay. So let's get to it. No, we don't want that. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I got big fingers, we expect. So let's go into settings. Okay. One time, just to show you, this bad boy is fast right now. Well, I'm gonna show you also the with my available Quake 3 tweak and Tony Hawk Pro 2 Quake tweak. Excuse me. Um, the games run at 30 to 40 frame rates a second. Okay, so pay close attention. I also gonna show you detail by detail how to put the game in landscape mode, which is Quake 3. So let's go ahead and uh find my game. Okay, Quake right there. So now we are going to start it up. I just did it. You see? F S slash start. Bring it on. It's in landscape mode. A lot of people also was asking, oh, how can you get the game in landscape mode but don't have the soft reset to exit the game? Well, if you look at the top, you have your taskbar at the top as you play the game with an X right there. I'll show you at the end of my video how to click the X, exit the game, close it, and booyah. No soft reset needed. Okay, can, can I get a zoom in? Now play, now pay close attention to game speed. Oops, screen went out. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and now this is with a faster CPU. There's no stuttering in the video. Okay, it's not none of that. This is straight up fast gameplay. So if you want this, you know where to get it. The link is right on the right side. Again, I want to thank New Rom at newrom.com 
for developing the overclock tweak. He spent a lot of time, so if you get it, please donate for his development. You know, it took him a long time to develop this. It didn't come easy. Give you a zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, now let's go. Ah, oh, killed me. Alright, I got something for that. Let's get a little bit more zoom so you get a closer look. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. Where you at? Back up. Oh. Again, I'm not all that great. Okay. You've just saw Quake 3 play perfectly. So... What I'm going to do now is show you Tony Hawk. So again, I'm going to show you how to exit the game. This little X right here. Bang. Click it one more time. Oops. Make sure you do it quick. Boom. It's gone. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and close that too. And let's go open up Tony Hawk. Okay, where's my okay? There we go. Let's go ahead and uh start Tony Hawk. Okay. Again, you can find my hardware tweak at xdadevelopers.com. The links are on the right. See, hardware version, quality high. Okay, Let's go ahead and uh, join the free session. Okay, that's not Tony Hawk, so. There we go, don't fall. Oh. Okay. Well, my gameplay is not all that great, but... Well,
That's Tony Hawk. Hope you enjoy my new tutorial. Like I said, everything can be found right at xdadevelopers.com. Have a great one.